Okay, we will uh, cover the topic of paragraphs and new lines in this lecture. So, paragraphs uh, can be inserted uh, in any part of the text uh, in the later by inserting a black line, but you can explicitly start a paragraph as well. Um, there is an example given. Uh, I will just copy it first. So, go to your later ed editor and we will okay here i inserted it i will compile it so here is the paragraph that has been inserted and uh, you can clearly see that where is the procedure? Okay, this here is the example uh, procedure. So it is inserted, and uh, you can see it is centrally justified. First of all, so we begin with the uh, the begin center and end center command, and uh, this has made the. Uh, you can say paragraph or paragraph um, and centrally justified. So this is how you make it centrally justified. Um, then what's the other case? I will just move, remove the two column settings so that you can see it clearly. Now, you can see that uh, the paragraph has, uh, the paragraph is centrally justified, and also um, uh, when I entered a blank line in between the two paragraphs, like here, so it oh, it starts a new paragraph as well. So uh, um, one way is to introduce uh, insert a blank line in between them, them so that the uh, new paragraph can start. And the other way is to um, use this command um, backslash bar, which will uh, automatically uh, um, tell the tech that, um, okay, your um, next paragraph and uh, next in line will be a new paragraph. So let's do this as well. For example, I introduce here. Well, you can see this is CMD uh, command. So let's compile it. So you can see here a new paragraph has been inserted here. So that means two, uh, two, there are two ways in which by which you can insert new paragraphs. And uh, one is inserting a line, uh, second is uh, inserting by uh, writing this command by the end of, of the previous uh, paragraph, it will, you can say, um, it will uh, create, uh, automatically create a new paragraph uh, for the next, the forthcoming text. So uh, by default, um, the paragraphs are indented by 1.5 times, the, uh, font point size of the current word. So uh, its indentation is automatically controlled by 1.5 times. And uh, yeah, okay. So uh, the other option uh, related to paragraphs is uh, uh, paragraphs alignment. And you can center it like we previously did. You can flash left, flash right it. Um, so these are the options here. So let's try with flash, flush left. First, so I will just so flush left. So let's compile it. You can see it is now left justified. Similarly, we can do flush right as well.
So now it is flush right, so it is right justified. So you can always, uh, you can say adjust the alignment of the paragraph according to your requirements. Um, so, okay, paragraph indentation, you can also, by default it is 1.5, and the indentation parameter is one, set to 1.5, but um, you can also set uh, your own. Uh, you can say um, indentation parameters. Um, by default, it does not indent the first, first paragraph is not indented, but the uh, subsequent or forthcoming paragraphs are uh, always indented. Um, so basically what you can do is, um, to indent the first paragraph as well, you can use uh, some commands which are given in the latex. So the size of the subsequent paragraphs indent is determined by parameters, the part indent. Um, so as you can see, set length, um, part indent, which is 10 EX. So the default, so, uh, default length of this parameter, parameter is set by the default uh, document class used, which it, so that means that means the which document class you are using according to that document class, uh, whether you are using uh, an article class, whether you are using a book class. So in the parameter, uh, the default length will change the default length. Um, but it is possible to change the indent size of the par um, paragraph by using the command set length. Uh, so in this example, set length and uh, part indent 10 ex will be indent at 10 ex. Ex equals to the length of the x in the current form. So let's try this. And I will just so let's see how it goes. So first paragraph is not indented, and you can see the subsequent paragraphs they are indented at then ex. So you can see how forward it has moved um according to the indentation scheme we have provided let's say i provide 20 so you can see the first line has moved way forward so this is how it is done and uh, to force an indentation scheme on the paragraphs um I guess that's very much it. Okay. And um, if we can uh, also do go through some basics like bold, italic, and underline. So uh, in the text, you need to, uh, sometimes you need to um, italicized or bold or uh, uh, you can say uh, apply other operations like underlining to the text. So you can always do this um, in LaTeX as well. And uh, we have uh, certain commands for that in LaTeX. Um, like, uh, you know, to do the bold, uh, we can do um, backslash text PF. So it's, it's very simple. Um, so let's try this. Uh, for example, I try to hold this. By the way, there's a short key as well. And if you just select the text and um, press control B, uh, from the, your keyboard, uh, it will also automatically insert the command. And similarly, 
Uh, let's see, I will. I will italicize the command uh, uh, control I and just compile it. So you can see in the in the paragraphs, data has been bold or uh, and uh, text type setting has been uh, has uh, been italicized and. Uh, yeah, you can also underline by uh, using one backslash underline. So let's do this. Uh, let's see, I try to underline this. So the part of the text has been underlined. It's italicized. I have already discussed, but you can uh, you can uh, use the command text it or emph. So both will do the in the text italicization. And for bold backslash text bf, it will also do the same. And underline backslash underline. We have already discussed discuss that. So backslash emph command also use uh, if you don't want to use italicize um, backslash text it command. So let's just. So here's the command. I will just so you can see this uh, word particular uh, has been italicized, and uh, so uh, the other thing is that uh, for new users it becomes confusing sometimes. So you can always use the commands within commands. So it, it's it's not. Uh, it will not cause any problems to you if you want anything uh, or any part of the uh, text to be italicized or bold within a particular, uh, you can say, and uh, uh, within the brackets of, uh, you can say, other command. So it's, it's, it's very easy. You don't have to worry, just do it. So emphasizing text. And yeah, that's very much it. And uh, this is bold italicis and underlining of the uh, text that we have covered today. So any question regarding this?